Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and this is tutorial number 35 and in this tutorial we are looking at part 2 of my mini series which was creating a basic website layout. Okay, where well, I'm just going to show you guys how to make a basic website template and um, if you guys remember from the previous video we left off having a header that had a fake logo and um, we had a navigation that was filled with some fake links so in other words the links didn't actually go anywhere we've got empty hrefs over here and uh, my section tag I said we'd do that in this video so I can go ahead and delete that because we're gonna be working on that in this video and then we had a footer well a side section that we're still gonna work with in this video and then a footer um, that just had a copyright in there to fill up some content okay so uh, yeah very fake looking website seeing as there's a fake logo and a fake uh, navigation etc but what I did in between the last video and this video was fetch a logo so <laughs> there I've uh, gone ahead and uh, created a logo over here that we can use for this um, series and if you take a look at this in the browser then we pretty much have our logo some navigation uh, a copyright and we still need to fill up the uh, section and the aside so let's go back to notepad plus plus over here and let's talk about what goes in our section okay because like I said in the previous video or in the previous two videos the section is your main content this is like the whole reason why people came to your web page okay and this can contain one article or quite a few articles okay and um, because of that we also have this new tag in HTML5 that I didn't tell you about yet but it is the article tag okay and uh, I'm gonna end that off over here and basically inside of this article tag we can uh, write our story or um, you know just add in whatever content our website is supposed to have so let's say it was a news website um, then this article would contain an article uh, you know that was news related okay so um, let's go ahead now and actually give this some more content so I'm gonna give this a heading so we'll start off with H2 and you know obviously all articles will have a header to kind of get the user the viewer interested and get him reading the content so I'm just gonna say this is an article header because <laughs> I'm not very creative at the moment so that's what I'm gonna put there and then under that we can put in a subheading because quite a few articles um, you know might have a main heading that contains the entire story or like that describes the entire story but then you've got a subheading underneath that which just like maybe describes what's gonna happen in the next three paragraphs or what the topic is that you're talking about is in the next three paragraphs so let's just say this is a subheader or something okay and whenever you do this in HTML or whenever you're creating a website um, whenever you create two different headers the browser might be a little bit confused and it might think okay is this the header or is this the header okay so you can then choose to uh, surround this in header tags so um, if I go ahead and actually do this and that then we have um, these two headers now inside one header tag and that doesn't mean that okay the browser is now gonna think that this is the main header of our page uh, like this one up here no 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 <laughs> that is not how this works okay uh, this header tag basically just describes a header so uh, any header can actually be in these header tags and it just means that the browser will now understand okay whatever's inside of here is a header whether it is for the page header of the website like over here or whether it's just a heading of an article like this is over here these are indeed headers okay and um, 
this will also help with uh, you know search rankings and stuff whenever Google bots browse your site um, they'll see the uh, heading tags and I should actually be closing that um, okay they'll see these heading tags and know that this is a heading or these are headings of an article okay so let's go down one line now and continue with the rest of our page and of course uh, what would an article be without any paragraphs for some content so you could go ahead and throw in a few paragraphs over here um, this is para one and you know we'll duplicate that or copy it rather and paste it and this will be paragraph two okay so uh, we've got some paragraphs not that important but underneath that we can go ahead now and actually add in a footer tag okay because all articles can then have a footer as well and uh, again this doesn't mean that okay the browser is now gonna think well this is the footer of your entire websites because no that's not how these tags work okay um, even though that this is in a footer tag that the so that the browser would understand that this is the footer of our website um, if we have this footer tag over here in the article then the browser and also search engine uh, rankings or search bots for search engine rankings will understand that this is the footer of the article okay and then you could go ahead and in this footer um, end it off by saying this article was written by um, you know Quentin Quentin Watt just because you know I did write it right now best article in the world para one and para two <laughs> but yeah okay so that is what we put in the section and uh, the aside is you know pretty much the same thing actually but you know <laughs> we're running short on time so I'm going to end the video here and we'll take a look at the aside tag in the third part of the series. So I will see you guys next time. But as always, don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share this video. It's really going to help my channel grow. And I will see you guys next time.